In this PPT, we have arrived at cortical cataract. Now, we'll spend some time in understanding what are what is cortical cataract basically, and what are the stages it goes through, and what are the difficulties a person faces with cortical cataracts. Because in the examination, you will constantly be presenting a case of immature cortical cataract or a mature cortical cataract. So in that aspect, this PPT takes huge importance. So cortex, we are all very aware of what the cortex is. Cortex is the uh, recent fibers or the younger fibers of uh, lens fibers, which are uh, situated in the periphery of the lens. The center is occupied by the nucleus. The periphery is occupied by the cortex and the capsule covers them. So this cortex can get opacified. Without being clear, it can get opacified. And the first stage of that opacification process is a stage of lamellar separation. Stage of lamellar separation mainly by fluid. So again and again, this hydration becomes important. Once it is hydrated and it is separated, then the initiation of the cataractor sequence has started. Then subsequently, we come to the stage of incipient cataract. Incipient cataract. Incipient cataract is yearly detectable opacities. You dilate the eye very nicely and look under slit lamp. Under slit lamp, you focus, fine focus the lens and see the lens under slit lamp. Then you will see two distinct types, cuneiform and cupuliform. Cuneiform and cupuliform. The cuneiform will be, cuneiform will be in the in the in the periphery something very similar to a coronary cataract which we discussed in pediatric cataract very similar not the same don't confuse them this is cuneiform cataract which are cuneiform opacities the egyptian letters you remember egyptian letters the cuneiform opacities and the cupuliform cataract cupuliform cataract which which is here cupuliform cataract which is here these are the early initiations of an incipient cataract incipient cataract in this in this uh, progression then we arrive at a immature cortical cataract in fact this will be the most common clinical case you will present you 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 this is the exam case for you the immature cortical cataract so they'll ask you immediately how you say it is immature then you'll have to say sir i'm seeing an iris shadow you can nicely see that iris shadow can you see from here to here, inside the pupil, you can see that iris shadow. Why that iris shadow is formed? The iris shadow is formed because in this immature cortical cataract, all the lens fibers are not opaque. Few of the lens fibers are transparent, few of the lens fibers are opaque. Because the lens fibers which are transparent reflect the image of the iris, the reflection of the iris, we see the iris shadow. Other than that, this type of cataract is not very dense. So if these patients, if you give some refractive correction, most probably with the hypermetropic correction, that is plus lenses, if you give them in the glasses, then they may improve. Like the patient's vision will be like 4 by 60. Then you give an immature, uh, you give some amount of uh, um, spectacle lenses, it will become 618. This kind of correction is possible in an immature cortical cataract because there is a lot of clear fibers which are still there, which we can take uh, advantage of. So that is the stage of immature cortical cataract. Then we come to the dense, white, mature cortical cataract. This is the, this is the dangerous cataract. It has totally obstructed vision. The vision will be roughly hand movements or worse than that. You try any glasses, no improvement will be there. This will be a dense cataract. At this stage, certain times the question will be, uh, sir, my father is very old or my grandfather is very old. Why should I subject him to surgery? Let it be if he is uh, going to have uh, one eye with a mature cataract, the other eye is having an immature cortical cataract. So patient is seeing something. Why unnecessarily operate and take him to the risk of operating surgery? Uh, that will be the usual question asked by uh, the attenders. More so when the patient has uh, uncontrollable diabetes or an ischemic heart disease where there is a risk factor for surgery, they will um, uh, ask you whether you can avoid surgery in these patients and then the question uh, need answer. The answer is no. Why no? Because after a mature cortical cataract, we go to the hypermature stage. The hypermature stage is a Morgagnian cataract. A Morgagnian cataract 
where the nucleus has sunk like a boat. It has sunk like a boat and the whole cortical matter is liquid. Can you see the liquid cortical matter? You have to just poke it and it will all ooze out. And this uh, nucleus will become uh, like a boat which will be floating, will, which will be floating. And this is called a Morgagnian cataract. The Morgagnian cataract, hypermature cataract is called a Morgagnian cataract. And this Morgagnian cataract is very dangerous because this Morgagnian cataract can leak. If it leaks, the liquid cortex leaks, then a phacolytic reaction is started. Phacolytic reaction and a phacolytic glaucoma. So that is phacolytic. A phacolytic reaction is initiated and that will lead to a phacolytic glaucoma. Similarly, another thing is when this uh, mature cataract suddenly gets uh, hydrated, it will become an intumescent cataract. The intumescent cataract. An intumescent cataract is a very hydrated cataract with the anterior chamber totally shallow and this will produce a phacomorphic glaucoma. Phacomorphic glaucoma. An intumescent cataract leads to a phacomorphic glaucoma. A Morgagnian cataract leads to a phacolytic glaucoma. Those uh, two complications will go from the cataract disease to glaucomatous disease and cause irreversible visual damage. So we cannot avoid cataract surgery in a cortical cataract person. We have to advise him that there is a chance of complications like phacomorphic glaucoma or phacolytic glaucoma occurring in you. So please better get operated at this stage. We will control and the surgery is safe and we will do a clear surgery for you. That should be our answer. So with this, we to an extent complete uh, the cortical cataract and in the next PPT, we will go towards uh, the king of all cataracts, nuclear cataract.